What's up guys? Another lesson here. I got a request to do Hell in a Bucket. Walk through all the weirisms, as he put it. So I'm gonna do that for you guys. It's in the key of B. Lots of bar chords, just like all the other 80s Bobby songs. So uh, start out in B, bar B. with the seven the song is like he's messing around in the major and minor he does lots of major and minor licks as jerry's just doing whatever he wants and be minor and major is not really the 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 ticket it's really anything in b and that's why jerry's doing a lot of chromatics and doing all the notes instead of skipping the minors or skipping the majors he's just putting them all in there same thing with bob in the chord uh voicings he puts in the back there's lots of sevens seven on the B string so and then uh, it's like a D D with this finger these three notes but it's also like B minor seven so it's like hiding this seven and then putting this switching to the seven and putting the minor on it opening is B, and then the verse, at least I'm enjoying the ride, is E, same walk down, but in E, it's like he's exposing that B and E, and minor and major, all that, all that stuff is very relative, you switch it any time. Seven, minor, so. every single note in B because there's no limits he doesn't really have a set minor major or anything like that so take it a couple times as you can see it takes me a couple times these, riff, these licks are kind of hard to do with the G note, G string a lot. B minor and major. So that's like the beginning opening jam when they start the song, they just... Which is from this B to this B, which is at the 12th, 11th, and 9th. So 9th on the D string, 11th on the G string, 12th on the B string. It's a power B, just like this one just an expiration up and then walk down your ring finger which is on the G string on the 11th and keep these two notes the same the whole time so so you walk down if these two notes stay the same and then you just move this note down one it's a it's a chromatic succession putting in 
every part of B almost. So when Jerry does the melody, he can just fly through B like he does. And then once you're done this, you go to the minor note and then put it on B, back to this B. So from this B, you're walking down to this B. Sometimes he hammers on the major instead of just so that you know that it's both of them. this note the five note so it becomes a D formation and then you put on the whichever finger you want the middle finger or the ring finger I see him do this finger a lot it's like hammering on the hammering on the A to up all the way up to here slide this variation of B down to two frets, one step, and then just hammer on your free finger onto the ninth fret A string. This finger's off, they're usually on A, this finger's off, and this finger hammers on. So it's like... See, lots of times he doesn't even play the bottom major part, like this note or this note for the B. He also oftentimes just plays the top three, the one, three, the five. I think that signifies that is he's like like I said before, he doesn't really have a minor and major in mind. He's just playing with everything in B. So lots of the chords when he does he moves around in this formation, his middle finger will be up, just playing the top. It's like giving the power instead of the, the bottom or accentuating the minor or the major. You know. Sometimes he puts it on, sometimes he doesn't. So that's kind of the beginning. So let's do go through the beginning one more time. So let's... company years he's nowadays he's doing the upstrung so that's the beginning intro part that will kind of give you grasp on the whole song he's kind of just displaying what he's going to be messing with the entire song so he goes back to that when he starts singing the verse I was drinking last night with my girl Go back to that walk down that you do in the intro, where you hold this B and just walk down this note in succession. slides up to the 12th and kind of does this like, all right, I'm coming out of it, going all the way down, you know? So it's... And then right back 
to the bar formations. D, C sharp, B. But he uh, strums the D, slides down into the C sharp, and then strums the B. So he does a strum on the C sharp. I'm getting used to, but just slide, just slide this variation around all the, all over the place, you know. So I was drinking last night with the biker, and I showed the picture of you. I said, it's a no real liker. And he goes to bar A. Instead of going down to this A, he puts the bar back on, and uh, he does A to A major seven. But he keeps this formation, so he just. So he's playing with this top, going back up to this B. So it's. It's a no real liker. Seem like the least I could do. Also, like putting the E on. So when you when you lift up your finger to go to the major seven. You. Kind of just joining the E and putting the top of it back on. When he's driving his chopper, same thing you did before. Up and down, you're carving the hall. You think I dress quite proper. And then that one part in the beginning intro when you go that right there after that so you go through this part twice and I showed her the picture of you part of course where we call it um sides from this b down to f sharp f sharp major puts the major on this one and then when he comes out of that he does a little box from c sharp to b to f sharp and this one he doesn't put on the major or minor he kind of just puts the top of all three of these chords so you put on the major and imagine me sipping champagne kind of just with these with these three fingers one two three of the one three five of every variation and then you go a another box a b d a b so just play with this box right here only the one three five of every variation so you're not really accentuating the minor or major again slides into the the A from the B so when you go Imagine that's another thing right there before I get to the next part you don't strum you don't strum each chord you just slide from the from the C sharp to the B and then take it off to the F sharp so it's like one strum from, and then you strum again on the F sharp so it's another that's what I, what I was talking about before you slide into that one so you strum 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 slide chords a lot of bar chords a lot of movement and you also don't strum the E going into that part so you 
slide into it. So let's go through it one more time. Last night with a biker. variation that you did when you walk down the five note and you did everything else. Now you're doing it in the E and you're walking down the major note. So you have one, three, five. Yeah, yeah. The major third. Seven, the eight and then the five. You're walking down this top note and leaving these two. So and then after that After the B, you go back up to this A, which is 12, 11, 9, 10. So 12 on the A, 11 on the D, 9 on the G, 10 on the B. To A variation. So play it with the top off. I do that often because it's an exception chord, exception, exception inversion. He puts it on in this part. So we. For a second, like I am, and just kind of get used to. So, this is the notes you're playing with. in this song. So that's up to the chorus part. Maybe go in the hell in the bucket, baby. Like, 
messing with all these notes in the box right here and not leaving out the major or the minor, just putting it all in there. same from the two two choruses and the verses and the intro and then from this part he doesn't go into another jam section he goes into the bridge so F sharp major C sharp just the one three and five it's not minor it's not major just he puts the major on this one he doesn't exemplify it on this one C sharp one three five and then E Slide the C sharp up to this E variation, just the one, three, five. And then company, I've seen him do, he adds an A into this part. So he goes. So with the, with Jerry in it, he doesn't, he hasn't, he just, he just holds the E. So this part is a, uh, Picasso Moon. Instead of doing that though, he goes G sharp. So D slide down to C sharp to B just like in the verse. So so uh, after the B, you hammer off the A, hammer off the B to A. So. sharp after the walk down because that's Picasso Moon. And then this one is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting his songs mixed up. They're very similar in the 80s. Um, this is a nice concept. Right? It's moving around a bunch of bar and just giving power and lots of, lots of hard strumming. And... and then you put on the tricks after you do the... <laughs> So yeah, this part is F sharp major, C sharp, E at the seventh and ninth, and then E C sharp, E hammer off the A, G sharp, A.
part where it does all the jam section ones. sit in that jam for a little and then whenever you're ready to cool out of it then you do the walk down to see if you're coming out of it. So yeah that's the jam part you sit there and do the tricks Exemplify what you want to. The ones that I like to do and that he does mostly is the ones where he kind of just messes with this G string a lot and the sevens, like I said, sevens and minors and majors. You can listen to versions and see many, many different ones of him doing these ones and this way. company where he does. <laughs> it's like, uh, he has the whammy too, so it's like, and then he does a G formation up at the, up at the, up at the B, so at the seventh. And then take off your pinky and put this on, on the fifth. so many ones he does but I'm just trying to get through the main parts of the song you can figure out the jam parts as you please and then that he does out of the jam section they do and then they come back into it you must really consider the circus well it just might be you can see I can't think of a place that's more perfect
that's like the signal, like, all right, I'm done. Let's song fully through without stopping and explaining it check that out i hope you learned something if you need another video let me know i will gladly do it for you I'm, i really appreciate all the responses that you guys are giving me have a good day